get set to feel the energy. You can sense it the moment you experience Friendship Village. It's a big factor when deciding on a place to live. Why is this so important? Because I'm looking for the right place to live. Come experience the energy that will help you make the move to get set for life. Friendship Village. Life is better among friends. Developing tonight, Chicago police policy says keep it on. But a new lawsuit against the department and the city claims an officer deliberately turned off a dash cam during a police stop and mistreated the suspect. CBS 2's Dana Kozlov reports the suspect was no ordinary citizen. It's New Year's morning, and this Chicago police officer arrives as backup for a traffic stop, gun drawn. Then, not a minute later, he runs back to his squad car and switch turns off the dashboard cam. In this case, it certainly was something more nefarious. Nefarious, claims lawyer Tim Fischella, because it happened after officers realized they pulled over George Roberts, a supervisor with the Independent Police Review Authority, or IPRA, the agency responsible for investigating police misconduct. Roberts was pulled over near Blackstone and 85th Place on suspicion of drunk driving. This federal lawsuit now claims officers threatened, pushed, and mistreated Roberts once that camera went dark. Most of the misconduct that we've alleged occurred after that. Do you think that is because of his job? Uh, not entirely, but I do think it played a factor. Police department dash cam policy. During the recording of an incident, department members will not disengage the in-car video system until the entire incident has been recorded. And that's not all. But there's also a state law about turning off the video. It's supposed to stay on, and even more importantly, it's supposed to be preserved for at least 90 days. There seems to be, at least I've noticed, uh, a pattern. I reached out to the Chicago Police Department for comment on that alleged pattern and on this case, and I was told by a spokesperson it is policy not to comment on pending or proposed litigation. As for George Roberts, he was charged with DUI, but was later found not guilty at his trial. Live in the control room, Dana Kozlov, CBS 2 News. Rob.